Okay, there are two directions that they normally take people at the Star City Road Test site. Either you make the first right, which is on to Van Sicklin, or they take you straight down Flatlands. If you're on Flatlands Avenue and you go this way, nine times out of 10, they will ask you to switch over to the left lane. Why? Because you're preparing to make a left turn. Some examiners will say switch over to the left lane. Some examiners will say make a left turn. In any case, in either case, check for traffic, look over your shoulder. When it's clear, switch over to the next lane. If you miss the entrance to the turning lane, which you can see on my left hand side with the arrows, do not cut across the white line to go into the turning lane. Do not go up and around the turning lane to, and into the intersection to make that turn. You missed that turn, you missed that street. Go to the next one. Enter the beginning of the turning lane, just like how I did here. And if the light is green, you move up into the intersection and you wait here, preparing to make the turn. While you're waiting to make the turn, check for pedestrians, check to see what kind of road you're turning onto. Is it a one-way street or a two-way street? The road, a lot of the roads over here do not have yellow lines on them, so you may not be able to tell if you're turning onto a one-way street or a two-way street, if you're looking for that only, all right. This is a this is an uh, this is one example of one of them. This road happens to be pretty wide, but there is no yellow line. Uh, if you turn too much to the left, you'll fail here. All right. So imagine the middle of the road. Imagine the yellow line going down the middle of the road, and you stay to the right-hand side of that imaginary yellow line. The roads that may give you the biggest problem are the narrow streets. There are a lot of narrow roads over here, like the one I'm about to turn onto, that are two-way, but they look like one-way streets at first. So one of the ways you can tell um, is if you see, if you notice, you see the words that say stop on the ground here, they're only on one half of the road, that is an indication that you're looking at a two-way street. Also, look at how the cars are parked on both sides of the road. They're facing in opposite directions. That is another indication that you're looking at a two-way street. Also, as you're about to turn onto the street, look to see if you see the back of a stop sign as you're getting ready to turn on the road. That is another indication that you are most likely turning into a two-way street. If you look to your left, there is a sign. It is a school sign, a school crossing sign. Um, I, I'm not sure of that, but I do know it's a sign and I do know that I'm looking at the back of it. Why am I looking at the back of it? Why? Because it's meant to communicate to traffic coming down that side of the road. So traffic on the left-hand side of the road would be seeing the front of that sign. So you can kind of use that logic in any driving situation to be able to t uh, to determine um, what kind of road you're looking at and which tr which way traffic is moving on that road. And if you notice, there was a school sign on the road. It was also upside down as I was looking at it. Okay, in this area, you also have always stop signs like that one. Again, stop, make a full stop and then you go. At an always stop sign, you look for the traffic, you look for the other traffic before you stop. Why? Because you want to determine who got to their stop sign first, who got to the intersection first. Whoever gets there first, whoever gets to their stop sign first has the right of way to go first. It doesn't always work like that, but that is what is supposed to happen, all right? So you can actually fail the road test if you wait too long at an always stop sign, stop too many times at an always stop sign, 
or automatically defer or give up the right of way to another vehicle that you clearly got there ahead of. All right. Also, when you turn onto a road, being that these roads have multiple lanes, make sure you turn into the closest lane on the correct side of the road. That is very important. Switching lanes, I'm going to make a left turn here. Um, a lot of people are not familiar with roads like this. Um, this one has, um, it's a turning lane, big street with turning arrows. All right, when the light is green, you can move up into the intersection. You do, you do not have to wait at the crosswalk as long as the light is green. The only time you would have to wait at the, inter, at the crosswalk there is if you saw a red arrow, all right? There is no red arrow here, so all I have to do is make sure there are no cars coming and then I can make my turn. Problem with that is this car is blocking my view. All right, now I can see uh, one of the benefits of a turning arrow is if traffic is heavy and you cannot make your turn in time, you still have the traffic arrow. Once you see that traffic arrow, you have the right of way to make your turn. All right, there it goes. I'll make my turn. Do not touch the yellow line. Do not touch the bike lane. At the end of the test signal, check your mirror, look over your shoulder, and pull over to stop. All right, and that's it. Whenever you are turning onto any streets, look first to make sure what it, what it is. Uh, don't assume anything about any street. Uh, these roads over here in Star City, these narrow roads with no yellow line, uh, they appear to be one-way roads at first, but they're actually two-way. Um, and these roads cause a lot of people to fail uh, mainly because they're not looking for them and also because they don't know what to look for. Um, the easiest things you could look for if you look at the picture closely is look at the corners. You will see the back of a sign. You could tell that the back of that sign by the shape of it is a stop sign. Uh, so you could look at that. that. That is a clear indication that traffic is coming out of that road. Um, you could also look at the pavement markings. Um, anytime you see a pavement marking and it's only on one half of the road or one side of the road, that is another indication that you're looking at a two-way street. And also, if you look at one of the um, uh, pictures here, you can see that uh, there's a faint black line going straight down the center of the road. Uh, that is there because when they pave the road, sometimes they pave one half of the road and then they pave the other half. And then when you when when, when it happens, even though they smooth over the road, um, that line and that separation between the two halves of the road it, are, are there. So even though that is not a yellow line, that is something if you notice it, you can use that as a guide to say, let me stay on this side, uh, let me stay on the right hand side of this imaginary line or this black line. Or sometimes if you see the manhole cover, a manhole cover might uh, a lot of times are in the middle of the street, middle of the road. You could also use the manhole covers as a guide to say, let me stay more so to the right side of the manhole covers. All right. Okay, this is just a picture of uh, the road test, the start of the road test. Um, you start off on Flatlands Avenue facing Van Sicklin Avenue. Um, on the left hand side, you see an X marks the spot um, right there at that pole. That's where you start. That's where the first car online lines up. Um, there usually is a line of vehicles. You just locate the last car on the line and hop on the back of the line. It doesn't matter what time your road test is, just hop on the back. Um, but when you get near the front, don't pass that pole. All right. Okay, uh, this is a picture of, I believe it is New Jersey Avenue, um, and it's uh, facing Flatlands Avenue. 
And um, the tricky part about this turn is making that left turn from that road, from that stop sign onto Flatlands Avenue. Um, the tricky part about that is um, you're dealing with a busy road with multiple lanes and a lot of traffic. And that traffic might be making left turns. So uh, the tricky thing in there is is misjudging how fast the vehicle is coming towards you, uh, moving out too quickly into the intersection and then getting stuck in the middle of the road because you misjudged how fast a car was coming towards you and um, and then you got stuck. <laughs> All right, so be careful here. The main thing to do to try to avoid that situation is look both ways frequently and try to judge how fast the vehicles are coming and how much time you have to make that turn. Um, you don't have to just worry about one side of the road. You have to worry about vehicles on both sides of the road and in two different lanes. This is very important. Whenever you're making a turn, make sure you always turn into the closest lane on the correct side of the road. Do not turn into a bike lane. Do not turn into the parking lane. That's an automatic fail. Uh, do not turn into the furthest lane. If you, if you turn into the outer lane as opposed to the closest lane, that could be an automatic fail. All right, so be careful of that and you should be fine. Very important, when you are making a left turn and you have a turning lane, make sure you get in to the turning lane at the beginning of the turning lane. If for some reason you miss the beginning of the turning lane, do not cut across the white line to go in. Do not go up to the intersection and try to go around the turning lane. Make sure you get into the turning lane to make your turn. Once you're in the turning lane and you're preparing to make a left turn, uh, move into the intersection, keep your car straight, and keep your wheel straight. Do not angle your car. Do not turn and angle your tires. Um, otherwise, that could be a means to, or a way to fail the road test. Um, I have seen that happen in the past. So again, um, Star City is not the greatest area in the world. It's not the easiest place in the world. But if you're paying attention, if you get enough practice, uh, you can still pass here. People pass here every day. So um, it's possible. Uh, if they take you straight and onto Flatlands and, 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 and making a left, uh, it, the area is a little bit more tricky. If they take you straight and to the right onto Van Sicklin, then the area is a little bit more simple. All right? So that's what you can expect with the Star City Road Test Site.